Hi everyone, so I'm going to show you how to install a Radian, a Diano Radian RXT into a 2008 Toyota Yaris, so it's a very compact car. And we are going to be doing rear facing and using the latch system. So today I'm going to explain what I do usually to install and make it a little bit easier. Um, first things first, you want to make sure you have the base installed into a rear facing car seat. For the Diano, it is this gray part that comes with your kit. Um, so if you see this little like arch area right here, this should go on the crease area of your car seat and you slide it in. The part where the feet are gonna go, this part of the car seat should be touching the seat itself. First thing I do, make sure everything is not tangled up before I strap in and start tightening things just to make it a little easier. Once you pull through a, a tangled up strap, it's hard to get out. So make sure it's not tangled up before you install it. So, okay, first things first, strap in to the latch. And you'll hear that little click. Next one, find the latch on this side. Click, perfect. Now I'm gonna tighten this. After I tighten it, I am gonna add the angle adjuster, which helps with older kits or just with the more compact car like this one where you can give the passenger some more space to um, scoot back. So first thing, you wanna remove the slack that's loose here before you tighten really well. So there's that. Next, you wanna put pressure with your hand, um, whichever hand, whichever way you're gonna do it, just depends. I usually use my left hand. Get kind of a good, you know, lean in. So you put your pressure down. Then you pull the strap up. Okay. So now, test it at the bottom of the car seat. It should be not moving any more than an inch or two. This is not, I mean, if you pull it, if you wiggle it from the base, it's not moving at all. Anytime you move it from the top, it will wiggle just because that's, that's how it is. It's not from the top, it's from the bottom that you test that out. Next, I'm putting the angle adjuster. This one is the Diano angle adjuster. Um, you have to purchase it separately, but it's totally worth it. Normally I have someone help me do this, but I will do it myself today. So you, what you do is you lift up from the middle. This is what I usually lift up so it doesn't get all crooked. Um, lift up. And slide on. Okay, so. There we go. Perfect, it helps. It gives you like four inches of space. Next thing is the back anchor. Depending on the car, I'm gonna stoop down to here. Some cars might have anchors in the back of the seats, on the floor. This one does not. So this comes with a add-on anchor that you could use. It is a D-ring. You just loop it around an area that is bolted onto the car, strap it through, like kind of make like a leash type of thing. So when you go like this, it's never gonna come out. The D-ring is what's gonna end up being hooked with the anchor. So here it is, here's the anchor latch. Go ahead and strap it in, or snap it in. And you're just gonna start pulling. Hold on to the car seat a little bit. Pull. Until you have no more slap. Alrighty, so there's that, perfect. See that, it's like not moving at all. Next thing that I just wanna to explain to you guys is straps. Shoulder straps should only be at or below the shoulders for rear facing, never above. It explains why in the manual. So again, at or below. Depending on your child, you might have to adjust it every few months if they grow super fast mine doesn't so I can keep it in the same setting for a while chest clip always at the chest and just make sure you're always strapping them in everything's checked out before you take off thank you